The purpose of this demo is a demonstration test uh, on a number of products that a client has provided to Flexway to see how they would work on Flexway's cascade static dwell drop slide checkware with reject concept. It's a long word, but in this particular case, the user's alternative is a relatively expensive in motion weighing system uh, with belts and rejects. We're talking 20,000, 15,000, something like that to do what is really a fairly simple job. All we want to know is, are all the parts in a kit? The products that he sent us, however, are somewhat challenging. In this case, we have five uh, poly bags. Um, these poly bags here both weigh the same, 372 thousandths of a pound each. Uh, unfortunately, one has 16 washers in it and the other has 17 washers in it. In this particular situation, we wouldn't be able to determine which bag is over or which bag is under since they're both the same weight. What we watch out for is does the smallest component disappear into the accumulated tolerance of the kit? In this case, it does. Other products the customer sent us are these little bags of Teflon washers. Uh, here, once again, the Teflon washer, an individual Teflon washer, disappears into the tolerance of the bag, and plus the fact that each Teflon washer is too small to actually be weighed on this scale. This scale is reading out to uh, plus or minus one thousandth of a pound, which is roughly a hundredth of a gram, or excuse me, five hundredths of a gram. If we were to take a dollar bill, for example, tear it up into a hundred pieces, four and a half of those pieces would be um, the resolution that we're reading on the scale at this time. Otherwise, the kits uh, represent fairly substantial chunks of, of weight for uh, this particular device. Here we have some uh, machine screws and, and bolts and some sheet metal screws, molly bolts and washers, a bracket with some more sheet metal screws, some injection molded parts with some uh, uh, screws here, uh, an assortment of hardware. What we want to do is, let's say, take this bag, for example, and make sure that all the pieces are in the bag, not too many, and we certainly don't want to ship a bag out that doesn't have enough. To set this uh, unit up for production, we already have, we would simply go select, preset, enter. We haven't, so we're going to change the presets to, um, our underweight is going to be 3787. Enter and our overweight is going to be 38.25. And that's about how tough it is to set up for production, even though we thought we had it. Ideally, the product is going to come along here on an in-feed belt, go out on an out-feed belt, or if you want, you can just drop them in through a little funnel. The OKs are going to Go into the scale, weigh, drop through. All of our OKs are going to do this. It better be OK every single time. It's the same bag every single time. So naturally, it's going to be OK every time. What we're going to do now is we're going to take one of the uh, uh, screws from this bag and put it back into the bag to create an over. What will happen now, you'll notice that this gate will open, dropping the rejected bag into presumably a reject box or some other uh, container or takeaway. As far as throughput speed is concerned, um, we can run these little bags here. Uh, this bag, if it's a little bit big for this size, will make the cascade drop slide static rail check with reject to the size specific to the requirement. We would make this one a little bit bigger, a little bit uh, deeper to handle these bags. But, it, but this size bag runs through here perfectly. So let's change the, the set points again. Select preset enter. Uh, we'll run those smaller bags. This will be a 360. Enter and the upper weight will be uh, 373. All the weights under the lower number and all the weights over the upper number will be rejects. However, these should all be OKs. So just to kind of see how quick we could run through, we'll
And this is about the kind of a throughput speed you can expect. The throughput speed might vary a little bit depending on product size. Obviously, if we're making one that's much longer, it's going to take a little bit longer for the package to slide down into the scale. But other than that, that kind of a throughput speed, that kind of accuracy is what you can expect from the um, Flexway, Cascade, Static Rail, Checkwear with Reject.